first one will do length is the pipeline, which is the bottom one. Okay, thanks. So here you can see that there's a gas fire. The contractor was digging, hits our gas line. Notice that the flame does not go back into the gas line at all. Why? Why do you think the fire won't go into the gas line? Too much. That's right, it's too rich. Perfect. That's right, this is 100% gas. It's only going to ignite where there's enough oxygen. You got to have the heat. Well, you guys know all about the fire tetrahedron. So you got to have heat, fuel, oxygen, and that ignition source. Excellent. Okay, thanks, Mike. All right. So we're talking safety. You know, obviously, if there's a pipeline fire, you still want to be back away from it but you don't need to be concerned about it spreading, okay? All right, so the next one I want to do is the middle one, Mike, which is going to be our... Uh, you propane first? Uh, no, the gas first, please. All right, so here you can see on the bunting burner, the gas. Nice blue flame, that's what we like to see. Not a lot of yellow or orange. So I'm going to turn it down just like that. Now remember what we said. One cubic foot of natural gas gives us 1,000 BTU. All right, go ahead and switch it over to the propane, and you'll see just how much more energy we get from the propane. So a lot bigger flame, more gas. I wonder if it has something to do with it, but you can definitely see it. Okay, thank you, Mike. So the next one I want to show you is our bunch of Bunsen burner. So let's talk about incomplete combustion. So incomplete combustion with natural gas, we're, we're always looking for a nice blue flame. That, that means that the majority of the natural gas is being consumed. Uh, you're getting your max heat for, from it. But when you start seeing yellow or orange and it's flickering, that's, that's a sign of incomplete combustion. Basically, you have either too much oxygen, too much gas. It's, it's, it's not burning at its best ability. You're not getting the most BTUs. So oftentimes what you need to do is adjust it, okay, to get, to get a much better flame. So if you were to ever look at the, the, the flame on your stove, and if you see a nice blue flame going all the way around uh, the circumference of, of that uh, stove, that's, that's perfect. That's what you want. If you see that it doesn't go all the way around, you know, maybe three quarters of it, it lights up, or if you see a lot of yellow uh, <coughs> flickering, uh, like it is doing right there, that, that's not a good sign. It probably needs to be clean, okay? Maybe it needs to be fine-tuned, uh, the supply to it. But this here is, would be producing CO now. And that's not what we want to happen. Okay, so earlier we were talking about <coughs> God bless you. natural gas being lighter, propane being heavier. So I'll start off with the natural gas. And what we're going to do is I'm going to fill this mug up with some natural gas. Now, there should be natural gas in there, right? Because it's lighter? All right, so I light off. So let's do it again. There you go. So I was able to capture it because gas is lighter than air. It's just stood in there. So now the next one is my propane. Now, propane, we said, is 1.56, so it's heavier. Heavier than air, so it should be trapped inside the mug. Plus, I should be getting even more energy from it. There you go. Oh, blew it out. Good start. Nope. All right. All right. So. You can see, again, gas lighter than air, floats, propane heavier than air, goes lower. So you know what? Let's have some fun with it. 
So starting with the natural gas, let's make some balls. All right, notice that I want to go up to the slider. Oh, that's a good one. See how it's floating? Woo! Nice. One more time. See how big I can get one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay. How the firehouse go up? All right, the next one, propane. So a lot more energy. Should should sink right down to the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. So don't tell my Irish brothers and sisters. <laughs> All right. Let's see how big I can get one. Oh, that's a good one. Woo! Oh, God. All right. One more time. So the reason why I had the bucket here is the previous guy that used to do this, he made a really big one and it busted before he could get to it. And he knew it was low. So it went down low while it was by its feet. <laughs> And it just went up his leg. So I always make sure that I got the, the pail here because I don't want it happening to me. Because I'm not going to lie, that was funny as hell. <laughs> All, right. All right, so that's it. All right. Lucas. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we want to show you with this is going to be the combustion chamber. So what we're going to do. I'm glad there's people really up close because when this comes spitting out, you're really going to feel the heat and the full effect of this. All right, they're shaking their head like I'm lying to them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll start with natural gas. Natural gas, the lower explosive limit. We're going to try to get the lower explosive limit first. And see how well we do. All right, Mike. Five seconds, right? Yep, give it five seconds. Right. We'll see how we do. Maybe not enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was good. It good. didn't open up, but it cleared <laughs> off. Okay. That was real low, but you saw well, not a lot of energy, but you, you saw some flame. All right, let's get back in there. All right, go ahead. Let's go swap. Sure. I'll help you once you get to 10. Boy, it, it wants to go. Let's, let's go 14. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to try to hit the upper explosion on number two. We want that lower one first, so you get an idea. So close. It, it, it's right. It's right on the edge. Let me just make sure. Okay. There you go. All right. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. That that was a little low. That was a little low. Let's see if we can get the higher one. Let's go for the higher one now. That was more of the 10, 12 percent 
That came right open, a lot of energy on it. Okay, we're gonna air it out, and then what we'll do is now we're gonna go propane. And how many more times? Energy with the propane? Two and a half times more energy. All right, yeah. Five seconds? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Because it's got the lower explosive on it. All right. He's over there. Woo! Hello. 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 All right, let's try to get the upper one. Obviously both, you know, you need to be mindful of. Okay, a lot of energy in both. So one of the things we talk about is when you're responding to a call, do you really want to park right up at front at the front of the of the structure that has the gas or propane leak? No. Absolutely not. You want to be a couple doors down, okay, because and I wish we could get the video going, but honestly, I can show you on the, on the uh, on my laptop some of the videos of just how powerful both can be. 